Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Cosmic Eclipse video. Today's video, guys, is pretty insane. We're looking at a Night March deck, but instead, it's going to be a version using Arceus Dialga Palkia GX ADP. We're going to be focusing on Altered Creation today. This combo, this deck, is pretty evil. So Night March, I know a lot of people hate, but uh, we just find I just found a way to make it more broken. And that is going to be through Altered Creation. So, Altered Creation, of course, when you use this attack, for the rest of the game, you take an extra prize for not getting stuffed out, and you get to do 30 more damage. So this is pretty much giving your Night March a free prize for each KO, and you're also going to be able to take an extra prize, which is crazy. Lots of good things going for Night March. Now, you can actually power this up really easily and expand it using Guzma and Hala and Double Dragon Energy. We can play Guzma Hala. When you play it, you can discard two cards from your hand. If you do, you can search your deck for a tool, special energy, and a stadium card. We don't really care for the stadium. I do play a parallel city just for whatever, but mainly we can get a double dragon energy and a float stone being the two big ones because we don't start with ADP, right? We can just play float stone on that Pokemon, go into the RC Stuck of Palkia, slap a double dragon energy on it thanks to Guzman Hala. We could search that through Tag Call. Tag Call guarantees us the turn one ADP. We got treasure to even get there. We have Ultra Ball, so we have many ways to pull off a Terminal Ultra Creation. And just like that, Night March becomes even more broken for the rest of the game. And we just got to take two GXs out, or EXs out, and we win the game with the deck. That is pretty much the idea of the deck. So before we get the video, of course, show to our sponsor, Car Carbon TCG. Guys, as always, if you're ever in any need of any PDCGO pack codes, if you're trying to get um, Cosmic Eclipse codes, still get all the Cosmic Eclipse cards if you're trying to get yourself some Arceus Dialga Palkia GXs. Uh, get them over at Car Carbon TCG. You can also get other Pokemon GX. Uh, codes there like Mew 3 codes and uh, Pika Rom codes and maybe Trevnor codes if you can get them in if you find them in stock quick enough and of course they have all the other PCO code goodness like other pack codes and ETB codes if you get anything from Cargraven make sure to use code LDF for the checkout for a 5% discount on your order helps the channel out helps yourself out helps Cargraven win win for everyone so yeah shout out Cargraven TCG the sponsor use code LDF so ADP March is pretty busted um, AD, there's so many combos with this card and expanded, I find. I know the, uh, Dark Box version is definitely something to look into. Um, and there's also a version I've heard that uses Medicham with this card, which is kind of cool, the Ancient Trait Medicham. So yeah, this card has so many combos and expanded, we're definitely going to be revisiting this card and expanded multiple times. But we're just going to be trying to go over that Terminal Altered Creation, and again, thanks to cards like Tag Call, Guzman Hala, we will get there. And, uh, just like that, we just play, like, a normal Night March deck. Night March, of course, 20 damage for each Night March to your discard pile. And, of course, we use Battle Compressor to get them in the discard pile. And we're giving up one prize. That's another good thing about this. Not only are we taking extra prizes for Dragon Stuff out, we're doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Joltik's damage cap is insane. We have Electro Powers, we have Choice Band, and we also have Altered Creation's extra damage. So Joltik can just one-shot things. It will shred things. It's insane how powerful Joltik is. And, of course, um, with this deck... Um, we have some cool type advantages. We have Marshadow, of course, for the Dark Fox deck. We can even try out Pumpkaboo. We have, you know, we're up against Mewtwo and they have a D Valley in play. They give us a free Night March. Uh, I do want to play Mew Fates Collide in here. I think that's a really good card. It has a free retreat cost and it also can knock out Mewtwo. Unfortunately, it is banned right now in Expanded, which is so stupid. It's banned because it's glitched. It would be something I would definitely want to run at least two of in here. We gotta work with what we got. Uh, I get taken out from our Shadow. Take Marshadow out, run one of those once Marshadow gets banned. Sure, I would like to play more Shamans, but let's just look at the rest of the list. Uh, I am playing a lot of turbo cards, of course, Dedenne, a lot of turbo stuff, Shaman, you know, stuff like that. Uh, four Battle Compressor, Computer Search is a great thing to have also. One of the main problems this deck will face is possibly, once you do Altered Creation, you might be stuck in the active spot. Uh, you can just attack, obviously, with Ultimate Ray, which is still an option. Uh, we do have AZ, and we have two floats to uh, kind of pivot it, but you could also bump that up to three floats. We also have a Guzma, so we have a decent amount of ways to move this thing from the active spot. Shouldn't be that bad. Um, got Treasures, Electro Power once again, Stretcher, Special Charge, uh, two Tag Calls. This is really important. If you want, you can go to three of these, because Tag Call guarantees you the turn on Altered Creation. But you also want to be guaranteeing yourself battle compressors to like get lampants going. You want to get the engine going as early as possible. Uh, we got Ultra Balls via Seekers. Parallel City. I didn't really know what stadium to play. I guess like Skyfield could be cute in here. Uh, but I just wanted a stadium just so we have something to grab a Guzmahala. And Supporter Time. Two Juniper, one end. Two Guzmahala, one teammates. The end can be coming handy if they do end up knocking out Arceus Dialga. It's possible they can knock it out that end or something. Uh, we can add them to a little hand size. Try to go from there. Of course... We got a Guzma. This is a card I probably want to play two of just to t knock out two GXs to win. So definitely maybe consider two Guzmas or maybe play like a Great Catcher. 
Uh, yeah, two choice band, two floats, for DC, two double dragon, pretty simple list, but this deck is pretty nuts. It could be a good ladder grinding deck too. Um, so let's go try it out PC Joe and uh, see how busted this is. All right guys, let's go show off the ADP March deck here. I'll show you guys how pretty OP this deck is here in Expanded. Definitely gonna show off its power, hopefully. We'll uh, see what we play up against first. Uh, Charizard Mew, looks like he's playing Dark Box. And we do have that Marsh Shadow in the deck, obviously, so we have an answer to Dark Box. I am a little scared of, like, a dead end KO, though. We do lose the coin flip. I don't want my my big ADP to get KO'd by a dead end. But if we get the turn one Altered Creation, that would be amazing. No, we do start with Marsh Shadow, though, which doesn't help. I was, like, I was thinking, like, can Marsh Shadow copy Altered, but it can't? Uh, we do have the play, though, to get the ADP, thankfully. We have to get rid of a lot of cards in our hand, though, to pull that off. Because we have the Ultra Ball, Treasure, and Gluz Mahala. Lot to do here. Lots to do. Definitely have Verbang down. So it's definitely Dark Box in, I guess. Because he's got lasers. Good thing we didn't start with Joltik, or else we would have just been straight up knocked out here. Which would have sucked. Let's see what my opponent does. They're gonna Juniper. Okay, getting rid of a pretty big hand. It's a good thing they didn't end me because I would say this is a pretty solid hand. <laughs> Actually, I could Stredger the ADP. That is an option. That is an option. Got a funny fear, but at the same time, I don't want Marshall to get knocked out, but I guess we're going to move the Marshall. Yeah, 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 I can actually Battle Compressor for the ADP. I think we'll do that. Or maybe we can draw a piece to the puzzle to pull off the eight, the RC scale, that'd be pretty good too. There's that dead end that I'm kind of worried about. We just got to hope they don't dead end my ADP after we do Altered Creation. But even then, again, we're taking so many prizes, we can win in two knockouts, which shouldn't be the hardest thing on the planet to pull off. See if they just pass here. No Dark Patch, no Max Elixir. Let's see it. Nice. Okay, what do we draw? Ooh, that helps quite a bit. Okay, this actually makes it a whole lot easier to pull off what we're trying to do. We'll just dump the Lampents. Who's Mahal is there? Floatstone, Double Dragons are all in the deck. We deprive the DC, though. We'll treasure away teammates. Get that Arceus Dialga Palkia into play. And uh, we'll Ultra Ball away these two for Tapu Lele GX. We'll get Goose Mahala. I, I mean, I could save it, but no matter what we're going to do, Goose Mahala, it doesn't really matter if I set up before I play this ability. And uh, we'll dump the Shaman, draw some cards, and uh, let's see what we get here that helps us out. Okay, Dedenne's pretty good. Uh, we'll Goose Mahala. Get rid of you, get rid of you. Get Parallel. Floatstone, Double Dragon Energy, and just like that, we got the combo we needed to pull off the turn one Altered Creation. Get Parallel City them. Not, don't know how much that'll matter, but if they're playing Verbank over whatever else, I mean, that is pretty good. That means they don't have as many outs to... I guess stopping this. And here we go, guys. Altered Creation. Turn one with Guzmahala. And now for the rest of the game, we're doing 30 more damage. And <coughs> we're taking three prizes for KO and a Dark Ride and a Dark Ride. Like, we're just in an insane spot. And having the Marsh Shadow in play is good. Losing the Stretcher is not ideal, but Joltik should be able to take our last prize if need be. So, the only thing I'm scared of is Dead End knocking me out. If Dead End doesn't kill me, we can knock them out with Ultimate Ray. Which is most likely what I'm going to go for here. Let's see. Parallel City hopefully slows them down too. Assuming it doesn't get bumped. I mean, if they're playing Verbank, most of us only play like, two Verbanks. There's that Juniper it looks like they're going to go for. I doubt they're going to end me. Yeah, they're going to Juniper. So they're going to need to get Darkrai. They're going to need quite a bit here. If they do KO me, it is going to be a little problematic. If they don't, we can knock them out with Ultimate Ray, take three prizes. And then just win with Marsh Shadow. Or we'll have the Marsh Shadow then. But overall, I think we should be fine to win this game. You might get the Darkrai EX here. That's actually pretty problematic that he had that hand. 
the perfect hand to get the Juniper Ultra Ball for Darkrai. No, he gets a Shaman. He can play that if he wants, but that... Now he can't bench anything else unless he finds a counter stadium. And I gotta imagine he only plays like two other stadiums in the deck at most. He might play Black Market. That would be pretty bad, actually. So it's one less prize we take, which kind of effectively cancels all the creations. Effective to take an extra prize. But we can always knock out Shaman. So that works. Does find a Dark Patch. I mean, he needs a laser. He's gonna need energy, another way to attach to here, and an, a laser or a counter stadium Dark Right EX in order to knock me out with Dead End. He needs quite a bit here to get the KO. There's a Juniper. Gets there's that Dark Right. Yep, see, that, that Parallel City play was a big brain move because now Dark Right EX is gone, which makes it harder to move the Shaman most likely. So now he needs an energy, Dark Patch, or Max Luxor hit, and a laser. He needs a lot to get this here. He does indeed need a lot. He can Bell, that's fine. Marshadow still creams him. But it's interesting that we actually do need to get out of Joltik in the discard pile for Marshadow here. But yeah, I think we're good to uh, kind of wrap this in. Let's see what he does. If not, we uh, can do some ultimate raid KOs. We can't ever get rid of these Fighting Fairy Belts, which is a little annoying. But again, stuff like Shaman being on the bench could be our out to winning, and just attaches to the Darkrai on the bench, which tells me he doesn't quite have a KO here. Yeah, that's good. We can knock out Shaman, take three prizes. See if we get more Battle Compressors. There we go. We'll do this. Get rid of Lampin. Pumpkin Blue Pumpkin. Actually, we'll get rid of one Joltic from our Shadow. There we go. We'll Ultra Ball here. Get rid of these two, and I am going to get myself a Joltik on the bench. I think that's a good idea. Just having this in place is good. We have a Guzma. We also have that teammates available. We'll just Ultimate Ray. We can just get DC off the prizes here, which we have a high odds of. Half our prizes, we know there's a DC prize, so we're taking half our prizes. We have a 3 and 6 chance to get this DC. If he doesn't end me, we just Guzma the Shaman with Joltik and win. Oh, we didn't get it. We did get some more Night Marchers, though, which I think is actually kind of good. No DC, that's unfortunate, but if he doesn't end me here, we're Gucci. And then we just win with, literally we just win with one more attack. See, this is how OP Altered Creation can be with Night March. So we just win with one more attack. Does he have the Hypnotoxic Laser? He does have it. So ADP will get knocked out. He could end a Brick me. Let's see if he does it. Is he gonna end me? Will he end me here? If not, we win with teammates. Actually, no, teammates won't win us the game. Never mind. Let me just have to dig for DC. We still have our computer search, I think, too. So that's good. There's an Ultra Ball. He can't bench any more Pokemon, so he has to instruct, I guess, and pray that he finds an end. Please don't find it. I know he's already going to find the VS Seeker, so it doesn't really matter. Let's see what's going to happen here. Will we lose? Oh, no, and it looks like he is going to knock me out. Now, all we got to do is just find an energy, and we win the game. That's all it's going to take. We have the Joltik in the discard pile. And just like that, guys, Altered Creation allowing us to just kind of just shred through in just two attacks to win the game. That's all it takes. All it takes. We're going to have to just go all in here with Juno. Wait, we just Goose Mahala. Derp. Yeah, okay, never mind. I'm an idiot. We just go Goose Mahala. Yeah, Guzma Hala will get us that DCE. And yep, that's game. That is indeed going to be game. Just DCE. And Night March for an insane amount of damage. And we take three prizes thanks to Altered Creation. And that is why ADP March, guys, is such a fun idea. Look at that. We just won in two attacks. That's insane. Guzma Hala is the MVP of this deck. Okay, guys, we're going to keep continuing on with some games here with ADP March. See what we're up against next. Uh, could this be Reshiram? I mean, the types all line up. This could be, could be that matchup. <clears throat> we'll see if it is. And yeah, we'll go for Tails. Okay. I'm fine with losing the coin flip. Going second means we get that Terminal Alter Creation off. We just need to find Guzmahala. And we do have it. We do start with uh, Tapu Lele, though, which is not perfect, but we'll see what we can do. Actually, we can just Battle Compressor. This is a pretty good hand, to be honest with you. Yeah, so they are playing a uh, Reshiram and Zekrom deck. That's going to be an interesting match for sure. But because we knock one out, we take four prizes. 
should be pretty easy. Oh, they're using ho -O. Cool idea. <laughs> we do have a welder here. Okay, well, the good thing is ADP does have enough HP to take a hit, unless they have a muscle or a choice band, which makes me hopefully feel safe about living here. You can battle the pressure wave supporter, too. There's a treasure, again, a Versus Seeker. Hmm. Actually, no, we don't have it, because we can't get an ADP into play, right? So we don't have it. We actually might just have to do this instead. We have no way to actually find the Arceus de Agapalkia. So in turn, we actually do not have it. I think we have to just go for a Juniper here and maybe just hope for the best. So don't have a way to find what we're looking for, unfortunately. I mean, we might not really even need the ADP. We can maybe just go Joltik, Joltik. It shouldn't be that bad. Alright. We might actually get it. Looking at this hand, we may actually have it. We can go to Denny or Shaman here, which will definitely help us. Definitely, definitely, definitely will help us. Might just go to Dene. Just keep digging. Just can keep digging for this uh, double dragon energy. Might as well. The only problem is we can get cross breaked. No, we didn't find it. We didn't even get a Joltik. Oh, that's pretty rough. Okay. Looks like we're gonna have to do this instead. <clears throat> we're gonna have to just swing. Yeah, unfortunately, we weren't able to to get the uh, double dragon energy, but we can just go here and attack with Marsh Shadow for now. I mean, we are doing a lot of damage with Night March. We're gonna be definitely putting some pressure on 180 damage. Yeah, I mean, I guess the ADP is not really like super needed, but it would have been nice to get the ADP off here, but it's fine. Uh, we can just tackle with Marsh Shadow, finish him off with a Joltik. But if we knock out two of these, we win the game, so it shouldn't be that bad, actually. Should not be that bad. I guess maybe I should end? Because we might need Electro Power. It is possible to one-shot this, but I guess maybe without Altered Creation, it's not. It's not really, no. Maybe we can, like, do a play where we have a turn where we can do Altered Creation. He's got a lot of heads on his Rebirth here. But, unfortunately for my opponent... Well, I guess because I get both energies, I can discard that. Okay, so never mind, it makes sense. And they're gonna Welder, maybe? Or End Resolve? No, I'm gonna play Welder. So they do have a Knockout. That's for sure. But we should be able to finish them off, too. Which is good. We'll see what else they do here. Building up Bray. Okay, so down to the Reshiram right now. There's a Shaman. So yeah, maybe when we knock this out, they can't take a prize. And we can do another Altered Creation. And then all we gotta do then do is just knock out a Ho or Shaman with a Guzma. That might actually be a good way to win the game. So we knock this out. We might get a turn where we get to do another Altered Creation. Or not, we do Alter, not another one. I wish we could do another one, but maybe. Uh, cross Break, though, will win my opponent the game. So that's kind of concerning. I kind of wish I battle compressor to weigh an N, in all honesty. Oof. That's a pretty rough draw. I guess we just got a Juniper. Not much else we can do. That's a pretty bad draw. That's going to be one less DC we can find. Okay. Um... We can stretcher the Joltik back. We are gonna get a KO here. Uh, special charge. Yep, definitely wanna do that. Get that out of the deck. Definitely wanna play this. Get those DCs. And Night March. So Joltik can get knocked out by Ho-Oh, but now we can go for a potential altered creation. We just don't really have a way to take three prizes. It's kind of the issue right now. <clears throat> we got some treasures, get some 
Kuzma Holobate. If we do need to get a DCE. And actually going with Rayquaza. They're going to go for a catcher. They get tails. That's interesting that they play catcher. Actually, yeah, they could have maybe went whole, but I, maybe, maybe I guess they only played the two different types of energy. Now I'm a little confused. We do need to end them, though, I think. So maybe we can go for, like, an end altered creation. Try to, like, brick them. Because they do just need a cross break, and that will be game for them. Oh, they do find a switch. So they can Coco knock me out with Rainbow Burn, which will do 60 damage to my Joltik. They comp search away another Rayquaza. Yeah, I wouldn't actually mind going for a thing, but no, he does get the Reshi Rom down. Any ends resolve? How many energies? He does get two, and that's what I was worried about, because now he is one welder away, or one energy away. I did not expect him to honestly get with another Reshi Rom. This is not good. I didn't expect him to get another Reshi Rom. Hmm. Well, we had Mr. Mime. See, had we done Altered Creation, all we would need to do is just Guzman the uh, Shaman and knock it out. We just got really unlucky. What do we draw? Ooh, we drew an end. Okay. So we could Altered Creation. I don't want to give my opponent many turns. I think I just got to swing and end them and hope they brick off the end. I think that's got to be the play. End them to a low hand size. Joltic swing and hope for the best. Get rid of these two. Could parallel city them two. I don't really know how much that'll matter, but we will end them to three and we just got to hope this end doesn't give us a bad hand. Which it doesn't. So then we just gotta hope they don't get a cross break off. But they do have the plain ends resolve too. So they need ends resolve and energy here to finish me off. We can get a shaman. Yep, shaman's in the deck. We can shaman here if they don't have game. See if we can finish this. There's no unless well unless they got like a Guzma and they have a choice band in their hand, they can knock out the ADP. But what are the odds they actually put a choice band in this deck? Because you're already doing 270 damage. That's a lot of damage. My opponent probably wasn't expecting any big 280 HP Pokemon. But they could be playing choice band for insurance. Or muscle band. You never know. I'm pretty much just hoping that they don't have game here. They're actually going to knock me out with Sky Return. Okay, that's fine. I see the idea behind it. Unfortunately for my opponent, though, it does mean I am one Guzma away from winning. We have one via Seeker. Okay, what do we draw? Okay, that's fine, because we're going to try to Guzma here. So we have a Shaman and a Marshadow to try and get the DC and the Versus Seeker here. Let's see if we can get it. Yes, nice. That is game. <clears throat> Give my opponent the well played. We did get pretty lucky they didn't pull off a cross break there. We didn't get to use Arceus and Dialga Palkia and GX attack, but there were times we really didn't even need it. I mean, it would have helped a lot win that game, but uh, we got really lucky they didn't get a cross break off. 20 energy. Oh, wow. That is a lot of energy to play. 20 energy. But yeah, that's, that's Nightmarch for you. It's good against tag teams. Yeah, I'll see you guys in another match. All right, guys, we're going to continue on with the ADP March deck here. Keep trying to just run into matchups where we can just win by just taking prizes. We're up against AKA Tall Guy playing a water deck. This could be a Greninja deck, which Greninja usually can beat Night March, but because of Altered Creation, we aren't going to allow that. We're going to go first, I think, just for insurance. I mean, probably just going to start with Shaman, just to Dene the hand. We can uh, get the Arceus Dialga Palkia here, float the Shaman. They're going to Mulligan. Will they be playing... Greninja, no, they're playing a weird water deck. See, that's the problem with Expanded, man. You, you, sometimes you just won't run into, like, matchups that, like, you know, obviously would be good. You'll play against Rogues. We did draw another float. I don't really like that. But still, this matchup shouldn't be that bad. Get ourselves at ADP. Do 
this, do this. I don't really like playing these two float stones because if he plays field blower, we're out of floats. And we got that Guzmahala for next turn. Actually, let's just play it now. I doubt they're playing Enhanced Hammer. If they are, go screw yourself because they, that would be really annoying. We're going to get that Double Dragon Energy. We're going to get that Parallel City. We don't need to play the Parallel City. We're just going to go into the ADP, attach the Double Dragon, and we're going to pass. We're just going to chill. We're going to go from there. <clears throat> and then we can do Altered Creation, and then... We just take prizes. And I knew they were playing Float Stone, or Field Blower, sorry. Which they do have it in their hand. This is why I didn't like drawing that other float there, but it's fine. He's actually going to remove it off of the active, keep it on the Shaman. So I can always Sky Return this at some point. There's a Cynthia. I really hope he's not playing Enhanced Hammer. I think we should still find the Double Dragon Energy anyways, but like, please don't be playing that garbage. Okay, good. So it's going to collect... So we draw Lele. We're gonna do that. We're gonna get an N here. Okay, we have Guzma, which is good, but we can probably attack with Ultimate Ray. Actually, yeah, we can probably just Choice Band attack Ultimate Ray here. We'll end him. Again, no need to play the Parallel City quite yet, so we can kind of just hold on to it. Got another Double Dragon Energy, so that is definitely good. I think I'm gonna play it. Just so I can attack next turn, and we'll Alter Creation. Wait, we just won the game? No, no, wait, never mind, no. For some reason, I thought we already did Altered Creation. I'm like, wait, 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 we don't won the game there. No, we didn't. We did not have game. So, yeah, this should be fine. And uh, now what we really need to do is just get Battle Compressors and get Nightmare Trips in the discard pile. Important, we'll get a Keldeo. Unfortunately for them, Keldeo will not save them. A town map's getting put too. Alola Ninetales, not a big threat. Not a big threat at all. And uh, we actually cannot get a lap pass here thanks to Choice Band and Altered Creation, allowing us to do an extra 60, which is going to be 210 damage, which is just enough to take out this lap pass. And for knocking it out, we're taking three prizes, and then we knock out the Keldeo, and we win the game. That's pretty good, if you ask me. I'm just going to go Treasure, get a Lamp. Actually, we're just going to Pumpkin Boo, actually, just discard it. We're just we're basically trying to get Battle Pass here to set up the Joltik. KO on this thing at this point no battle compressors okay we still have a Mars Shadow so we still have a pivoting card we'll do this we don't need the tag call anymore uh, we'll get that no we don't have Mars Shadow we have the Mars Shadow DX but not the not the other Mars Shadow I will take up I'm good the deck then I guess we have teammates yeah yes yeah, so we should win next turn regardless and we'll ultimate raid. This will indeed knock him out because of the damage modifiers. And we're taking three prizes. So you can kind of see. We do the Alter Creation. Now all we literally got to do is take one GX out and we win the game. Like, this is how OP it is. And you know what? Night March can do so much damage. It will get there. We, yeah, pretty much win here. We got an AZ. We can even AZ this thing if we really wanted to. If he, for some reason, enhanced hammers the double dragon energy off. No end for them. So they can't really prevent me from winning here. So yeah, that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. We're going to take three prizes here, and that's going to be game. And expect, even if he benches another GX, we can knock it out too. He's just kind of Sonic Edge. Yeah. This Keldeo is about to get bodied, and we're about to win the game thanks to Alter Creation. We got to we gotta stretch her back. This is, like, really OP. I'm just going to go here. Go here. We do this. We could do this. We could just do so much here. We don't even have the battle compressor. Don't even have to play that battle compressor. Let's get that. Why not get electro power? Sure, let's get that 30 extra damage. Yeah, this is a KO. So we're going to retreat. And we're doing an extra, extra 90 damage in total with the electro power. And the choice spam being on the Joltik. That's insane. That's insane. 250 damage with Night March. <laughs> we just win the game. Because we just take all our prizes, even if he has something on his bench. Holy cow, dude. ADP March, bro. <laughs> it is... It's cheesy. Let's do another game. Let's, uh... <clears throat> plow through. 
the matches here with this deck. This deck's actually brutal. Alright, we're up against a Lightning, Water, Grass, Colorless deck. Once again, a lot of types cannot pinpoint what they are playing. But as long as we can be consistent with our uh, good old GXs, we're good. We'll just, yeah, we'll go first. Just for safekeeping. Like, I know it's good to go second to get that turn one off, but, like, it's always, it's never guaranteed we get it. Unless you get a hand like this where it is. Might, maybe just pass. We'll, we'll tag call, obviously. We have a lot of uh, stuff going on in our hand here. Which makes this a little weird. I might even not even do that. Okay, he's gonna get a Blitzel. There's a Guzma Hollow deck. This hand is honestly OP. We can get double this. Because we drew this, I think we should put you down. Play the Guzma Hall and now. Get Float, Double Dragon, Parallel City. If we attach the Double Dragon Energy and he hammers me, we lose it. So I don't want that to happen. He can't, like, paralyze me or anything, so we're just gonna retreat. We're gonna pass. And before he plays Team Skullgrun, but. We're not going to catch in case he hammers me, because I don't have the other in my deck. I guess then if he does, I can just computer search for special charge. Let's see what they do here. I want them to bench something, because I can win by night marching them. Okay, good. Ooh, they're playing a white Kyrim deck. See, non-GX matchups, because of alter creation, just become so easy. And yeah, this is not going to give my opponent. There's a Jolting draw. We can do this. We're going to get ourselves probably a Battle Compressor here. I think it's the best thing to get. We can parallel them, I guess. Why not? Get those lamps going. We don't need that many Night Marchers in the discard for White Kyrim, so that's good. Here we go, Juniper. Get some Pumpkaboos going in the discard pile. We'll probably just get another Joltik here. I, you should probably play like a Mew or Mime in this deck, too. Again, the Baby Mew is something I do want to play also. The Fights Collide Mew is something I want to play, but unfortunately, it is banned. But we didn't really run into a Mewtwo matchup where we would actually need it. He might have a Guzma in his hand. No, just a Lily. Wait, this is like this is like a standard build. Yeah, this feels like he's playing more of a pre-rotation build. Dude, expanded, dude, it's, it's a weird format. Sometimes you don't even play against decks that are black and white on. You'll play against Sun and Moon on decks. I'm assuming that's what this is, because the Lily. Lily is... That card, you did not see that much in Expanded. But now that we have it, oh my gosh, he gets an Arceus, but we have the superior Arceus in play. We have the superior Arceus in play. Doesn't matter if he has this. Let's see if he uh, attacks me here. Because if he does, we can uh, AZ. Nope, doesn't attack. Alright, well, we might as well do this. I think we'll chill with the hand and just ultimate ray. Take our two prizes. Now we just need, we just need to take out three Pokemon here to win the game, and this is the power of Arceus the other Palkia. He's got the uh, ADP, he's got, well, he's not the ADP, as the Arceus, but I got the Palkia and the Dialga to go with it. I have the superior Arceus here. Which is pretty sick. You need, like, a Baton, I think. Well, I guess he can get enough energy on this, but I don't really see. Oh, he's just kind of Freezing Flames me. Gets rid of my... I'm not 190. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. My math was kind of weird there. Just get Lele. We can retreat. We get knocked out by Trinity Star. I think I'm safe. He needs so much here to knock me out. So we're just gonna take him out. And we're gonna take three prizes for doing so. Or two prizes, sorry, not three. I miscounted. We're gonna take two prizes. Like, just look at how fast we're winning this game. Yeah, see, he just concedes. He's like, nope. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Let's do another game. Alright. Looks like we're up against another Dark Box deck. Okay. This is fine. Again, we have that Mar Shadow, like the last game. And we go first, possibly, which is good. So if we get that turn 1 ADP, that'll be really good. The turn 1 Altered Creation, the turn 1 AC, whatever you want to call it. Okay. We do have it. We have a teammate. The rest of our hand does kind of suck. But that's fine. <laughs> the rest of our hand does suck here. Especially if he, like, dead ends me, we won't get to use teammates. But we're thinning. That's maybe enough for tomorrow. So as long as it doesn't end me here, we should be good. 
I am scared of dead end GX, but once we alter creation, it's just knock out two GXs and we win the game. It's not that hard to do. So as long as we keep a consistent flow here, we should be in the Gucci gang to get there. There's an Ultra Ball. Definitely think my opponent is going to try to get a dead end. Well, actually, they probably don't realize that I'm playing the ADP. They probably don't expect it, so they might not go for Dark Ride GX right now. Well, they probably will, but we'll see. They're gonna Lele. Will they end me? We're not really posing a threat, so I hope they don't end me. Like, I have the turn 1 ADP, but I guess we should get end because our hand does kind of suck. Okay, they are gonna end me. So they do get rid of my turn 1 ADP play, but they do give me a new hand, which might give me a better hand. Because once I do ADP, I needed something to follow up with, and we didn't have that. They are annoyingly playing Fighting Free Belt in their build, too. But we have the Mars Shadow. We have Stretcher. Okay, they gave me a way better hand, and they gave me the turn 1 ADP still. Perfect. That's all we wanted to see. All we wanted to see. Cool, and no Dark Ride GX, so no dead end threat. And there's a Stretcher. Get ADP, Guzma Hollow. Just make sure Double Dragon and Floats are in the deck. Yep, we got one and one each. Oh my gosh. Get you down. We'll do this. Get rid of teammates. And of course, we'll get rid of the Lampent. Get parallel. Floatstone. Double Dragon Energy. It's kind of awkward floating a Pumpkaboo, but you know what? It's fine. I think we will play that down. I can, oh, they might play Black Market, but whatever. We can always Guzma if they do play Black Market. Pump through three. I should check to see if I have Martian on the deck. We do. No, we don't. Rip. Yeah, well, three Pump Caboos it is. Looks like we're gonna have to play a little more Turboized. Uh, I think I will play Shaman. We do probably want to draw here. Like, I know they have an end in their hand, but. I think we do need to draw. There's Joltik. Do this. We'll dump one Joltik. Get rid of the other Guzmahala. No, it does guarantee me something then. I don't know what else the are away for, in all honesty. I guess a treasure can go. But I can find his Lele Marshadow. There's literally nothing else I want to get rid of here. I guess N. N's like the only card. Maybe yeah, N would be fun, I guess, sure. And Alter Creation. And if we find Choice Band, we cannot knock them out because we'll be 10 off, but you know what? Sure. I guess I shouldn't have played the Parallel City. I guess then I wouldn't have gotten a bigger Shaman. I didn't really want to draw this because it, you know, that's good Battle Compressor bait once you do the first uh, Alter Creation. I guess if I dump the Guzma there and I draw a DC or a double, or yeah, if I draw a DC, I can knock the Lele out with Ultimate Ray. But once, all we gotta do now is just take out two GXs to win the game. That's all we gotta do. Is knock two GXs out, we win the game. Shouldn't be too hard. There's uh, Juniper. You know what? Maybe I should have gotten an AZ. Because I actually can't move this because I did prize my float. We actually got some pretty bad prizes. We prized a float, a double Dragon Energy, and a Marshadow GX. So our prizes are not the greatest. But uh, there's no threat of getting knocked out here, which is good. Though we are going to get two shot. Which is not good. And yeah, see what else they do. Oh, they do play the Darkrai GX. I didn't even see that. What the heck? Okay, well, there's no Darkrai EX in play to free retreat. They're going to hit me pretty hard here. Yeah, 160. Let's see, what we draw Juniper. Okay, I think I'll just stretch her a Joltik back, because why not? I think we do just want to have two Joltiks in play here. Well, Juniper. Just gotta lose my hollow there. Maybe I should have, because we didn't get what we wanted. Hmm. Yeah, we didn't get the DC. Yeah, maybe I should have done that. So I can Mars Shadow to try and get the DC. Or I could Shaman. Yeah, I should have just Guzma Hollow there to guarantee the DC. Kind of regret not doing that. Shaman for two. I guess we'll have to let loose and try to draw the DC here. Which we didn't get. We have an AZ, but we can't play it. Rip. So we're going to give up a prize. But again, all we got to do is take two knockouts and we win. That shouldn't be too hard to do. The Fighting Fury Belt is kind of annoying. It does give him a lot of HP, but we have a lot of things going in the loss. So I'm a little discard power right now, so we can hit them pretty dang hard. 
Okay, so we can get teammates. I think that's the play. So we are currently doing 60... 80, 100... Hmm. We might be short on the knockout here. Ooh, Drew DC. Could also end them. Or... Cause, hmm. Teammates would give double Electro Power, I think, would knock him out. I think we would just have to do that. Okay, hold on. Let me just do the math. That is 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 160 plus 90. Let me just quickly pull. I'm pretty sure that is more than 220, but I'm way too lazy to do the math. Yeah, 250. So we just get uh, two E powers here. One, two. Bye bye. All right, now we just knock out one more GX. We win the game. He's mostly gonna E Veltal me, so that is that. But it is possible to just Guzma the uh, GXs up. There's Mars Shadow. That's good. It's going to help quite a bit, possibly. So yeah, he'll not be able to Veltal. And we can do some shenanigans with Shaman and De Dene. Or I guess we just go to Dene here, try to get Guzma and DC. Because all we got to do is knock out one of these big boys and we win the game. So we just got to take... One more knockout on a GX and we win. Can we get there? Let's see if we can get there. Actually, wait, no, I didn't need the double Electro Power. But you know what, it thins the deck out anyways. We didn't need that many Electro Powers. Actually, yeah, but we didn't need the double Electro Power. What'd you make it that? Shadow Circle, okay, that's fine. We should be able to knock out this guy because he doesn't have a funny fear belt on it. So yeah, we just gotta basically hope to hit Guzma in a DC here. We have a Dedene to try it. I really... I shouldn't have gotten the double lecture part. Maybe I should have just gotten a piece to the puzzle to knock him out to win the game. I didn't do the math properly there. Definitely should have counted better. I guess, like, we could still, like, end them and then knock this out. And there's like a pretty low chance they can knock out Shaman or Lele on the bench with a Lysander, maybe? Maybe that could work. Oh no, let's see. What do we draw? Oh, that is game! That's game. Yeah, that's game. Alright, I think we win. Do this. Lele Guzma is in the deck. Yes, it is. Boom, there it is. Guzma and Guzma Hollow in the deck. The only cards left in the deck have Guzma in their name. And we just win. So yeah, that is ADP March for you guys. Pretty busted deck, if you ask me. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty insane deck for sure. That's gonna be game. 240 damage. Ridiculous. Just ridiculous. And we're gonna take three prizes. Thanks to ADP's ability. But yeah, that'll wrap today's PDCGO of video, guys, with the ADP March deck. This deck is really strong. It's a decent ladder grinding deck, as long as you don't run into any, like, decks that are good against Night March. Any, like, tag team deck, I feel like, just gets destroyed by this deck once again. Um, I guess maybe find room for a Mr. Mime. I do want to play maybe more Dedenes or Shamans. That's also something I would consider. But other than that, this deck did play pretty well. And I do like this deck quite a bit. It's pretty evil. Being able to give your Night Marchers 30 more damage. An extra prize for taking a knockout is pretty ridiculous. So yeah, that'll wrap the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Check out the sponsor Car Cavern TCG down below. As always, guys, use code LDF. Subscribe to the channel home of the road to reaching 6,100 subscribers or 7,000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.